Today we're going to be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts lights into your OEM tow mirrors. This applies to 2015 and newer F-150 and 2017 and newer F-250 and larger Super Duty tow mirrors. For exact fitment, please check our website at BoostAutoParts.com. In order for these to be a direct plug and play replacement, the lights must be operating as Forge originally designed, which is the front bar working as running light only and the two rear facing LEDs working as signal only. If you have OEM mirrors and haven't done any modifications, these will be fully plug and play. To get all the parts in this video, check us out at BoostAutoParts.com. The first thing you're going to want to do is pop off the lower glass. You want to tilt the glass all the way down to get access to the retention clips. Now, to remove the lower glass, you're going to want to use a small, flat blade screwdriver and place it between the plastic backing on the glass and the lower mount. Once the screwdriver is in place, you want to twist it and the glass can be removed. Be sure to disconnect any defrost terminals if your lower glass was equipped with defrost. Now for the upper glass, you will want to tilt it all the way up. You will want to slide both of your hands into the bottom area and it should snap right off. Once you've removed the glass, be sure to remove any connectors for the blind spot monitoring if equipped, as well as the defrost. Now you'll just go ahead and extend the mirror out. Now there's going to be five 7mm bolts. To remove those, we'll use a 7mm socket as well as a magnet. Now we'll just go ahead and remove the new lights provided by Boost Auto Parts from the box. Boost Auto Parts does offer a standard amber light as well as a switchback light. We offer smoked as well as clear lenses, all available on our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Now we need to go ahead and release these three clips for the cap. You can just use a flathead screwdriver, kind of pry them out, and the cap can be removed. Now using a trim tool, we're just going to begin working our way around the front shroud assembly to go ahead and separate it from the back. Just want to be careful while doing this. Make sure you support the back of the mirror. Now you'll just go ahead and unplug the connector from the original marker light. You'll just start by sliding that gray latch straight back and then you'll go ahead and depress the tab and unplug the light. Now we'll just go ahead and unplug the puddle light. Now we'll just go ahead and remove the puddle lamp from the shroud assembly. There's just a little latch here on the side. You'll depress that and then it should just kind of press through the shroud just like so. Now you'll just go ahead and plug the connector into the new light provided by Boost Auto Parts. It should just slide right in and then you'll slide the gray lock into position. Now we have found it's a little bit easier to reroute the puddle wire uh, straight down through here, so we're gonna go ahead and reroute that puddle wire over there now. Then we're gonna go ahead and place the new light provided by Boost Auto Parts straight up into position, lining up the bolt holes, and then we'll just go ahead and pull the slack from the puddle lamp straight on through. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the shroud and place it up over the light here. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that the puddle lamp wire does not get pinched, so you'll go ahead and route that into the shroud assembly, pull the wire straight on through the puddle hole, and you're just going to begin working your way around the mirror, kind of snapping the shroud into the front shroud assembly. Now when you're snapping this together, you want to make sure that you keep the defrost wires clear of the tabs that come down for the screw bosses, so you have the upper as well as the lower, you just want to make sure you keep those wires clear. Now you just go ahead and replace the five seven millimeter bolts into the front shroud assembly. Then you'll just go ahead and plug in the puddle lamp. You can see there's a tab right here. You're going to want that to be facing up and you'll just go ahead and plug it right in. Now you just go ahead and install the puddle lamp into the shroud assembly. There's a little latch on one side and a clip on the other. First you'll go ahead and hook the latch and then you'll just snap it up and the clip will retain it. Now if your lower glass was equipped with defrost, you'll go ahead and plug that back in. This is not polarity sensitive, so you can plug either terminal into either side. And then you'll just go ahead and snap the glass back on. If you did damage your glass, Boost Auto Parts does carry replacement glass. And then we're going to go ahead and put on the upper glass. We'll start by plugging in the defrost connections as well as the blind spot. The defrost is not polarity sensitive. 
Now when you go to put the glass on, there's these three plastic guides. These metal stabilization pins need to go inside of those guides, so when you push the glass into place, make sure those are inside, and then it's just a press fit design. You'll just go ahead and snap it into place just like so. And just like that, your installation is complete. The process is the same for the driver as well as the passenger side. You'll just want to go ahead and test out your lights. If you had switchback, the white should change over to an amber when the signal comes on as shown here. If you purchase just the standard replacement lights, they should be amber at all times. To get all the parts shown in this video, check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.